Good morning, I'm Kate Bonner for KBTV Online. Thanks for joining. Today we begin our two-part series, Microchip Implants, Cunning or Creepy? To have microchip identification devices implanted into their body. Ladies and gentlemen, this is something out of a science fiction horror movie. Talking about microchip implants in humans. You know, I'm one of those who really believes that the government and, and that the, the global elite and uh, Bilderberger Group and, and, and the Illuminati really do feel that they are trying to keep um, societies and peoples dumbed down. Now the overlord has gone overboard. They want to turn a human being into a cyborg. It's so complex, money get me vexed. Yo, what will they think of that? My lord. Take the chip out the passport, put it in the body. GPS tracking for the Illuminati. While you're whining, dining, and having a party, they got the eye on everybody. You know, for us as Rastafarian, we don't really believe in, like, controlled environment, you know, we believe in the divine spirit of the Most High. So, you know, we're like making people aware, like, yo, where it's coming, you know, they're gonna start programming you, you know, to know where you are and what you're doing. Ladies and gentlemen, listen my flow. This is something that I think you should know. They're making a chip on the system designed that without the chip you just can't... So, you know, we create the song to make people aware of what is gonna take place in the future. I mean, it's real. People are getting chipped. They are selling it already. Yeah, just as, as, an, as an artist, I try to use my music to activate people's consciousness, to get them to wake up and see their true divine self and to see their potential natural fit for me. I heard the beat, the rhythm was produced by Far East Band in Germany, who I just did this album with, and it had that electronic vibe to it. And when I first heard it, that's the first thing I, I thought of. Chris um, pretty much hired the production staff here. Uh, we have Mona Mensing, who's a fabulous stylist. Uh, she does wardrobe and makeup and kind of overall styling the, the girls and the artists. I'd never worked with Tim before. I had a meeting with him and he showed me some old school videos, old school music videos like Janet Jackson, Michael Jackson, and I just loved the style of it. That sort of almost 2001 A Space Odyssey kind of really stylized science fiction look, and I was like, yeah, we gotta do this. It's so amazing when you see each other's vision and you know everything that she was bringing to me was exactly what I saw in my head, but I couldn't touch it yet, and, and so she brought me stuff that I could see and touch and feel, and it was just, it was just beautiful. I've done a few music videos, but this is definitely by far the most challenging I've ever done. I love it. I love just being able to do the makeup and, you know, I, I designed a bunch of the wardrobe and got to sew it and everything. So I get to use, you know, all of my efforts and I just love doing it. So, um, and these guys have been really amazing and the dancers and everybody. And it's just so great to have such amazing local talent. It's been such a great collaborative team effort and the, the music is just so cool. I mean, you know, I'm like the oldest one here and I totally love it. We have a lot of people involved in this. Uh, it's, it's, it's our biggest crew so far, uh, working with Tim and Far From Earth Films. It's great to have Sarah Hall, who's a, a local choreographer here, um, bring her dancers and, and work with them. We gave her the song, and um, we just sort of watched it come together. And it really has, like, just, you know, every time we've gone to see it, another, another process of it, it's just been even better than we could have imagined, so. I think I had about two weeks from the time um, I found out about it until today that we're shooting. Had the concept meeting to kind of understand what he, his vision was and um, for him to show me some video clips and then that's kind of how the process got started and I think we aligned um, visually. Every time I see a little bit more of the dance I'm just, I'm just blown away. Being in a small town as artists we all look for opportunities to create something a little bit bigger than um, people expect to come out of this town. So I try and kind of tell the story and have it develop along with the song. So that's kind of where the creativity happens. Chris Cass, he's been with me on about four or five music videos now, and actually we, we did a sci-fi video together a couple months ago called Future Cops, where he got really excited about it and brought in all these props. And I built this contraption. 
Namaste. Hey, what's up? Hey, that's Bruce Lee. For the first time, I saw what it was like to do something a little bit more than just run and gun, which was my typical style. Tim, Tim has a vision, and I try to help him uh, find his vision. But now we're really trying to step it up with each project, and so every one that we've done since Chris has been on has just gotten better and better and better. And I'm also the AD, assistant director. Whatever Tim needs, I'm his, I'm his bitch. Okay, see this is Chris, he's <laughs> going a little wild now, but this is the stuff like that we do. We have a great time on set and it's always just fun. You know, this is, work should be fun, right? Actually, I'm wearing this uh, contraption that Tim uh, envisioned and uh, I helped uh, bring to light. This, uh, you know, to accentuate the eyes and the mouth because uh, the lyrics are very important in the song. Microchip. Microchip. You getting that? Microchip. I mean, he just takes it to the next level. Without, I had never had an art director on a video before. I met Tim and Chris, and it's just night and day. It's way different. You know, he really, really adds something to the video. So I don't. I'll never go back to just one guy, one camera, three locations, and splicing the words. You know, that was the the basic format when I first started out. But after meeting. Tim Cash and meeting Chris Cass and seeing what's possible. That's that's the new bar, you know. <laughs> we have uh, Sky Pinnock as our DP, which is great. We're shooting on the red. That's very exciting. We're excited about that. We have um, Sky Pinnock, uh, who's actually just been an incredible help to us. Um, we actually rented his red camera, rented the studio and um, he came in as the DP. You know, you always start with these storyboards and a script and an idea and, and, you know, just on paper, it doesn't always make a lot of sense, you know, and then, so I got the original paper and I'm like, okay, yeah, no, I, I, can, I can see this. It, you know, I, I see there's an idea there, but then you talk to Tim and then you go, oh, okay, that actually sounds really cool. And then when you get into the studio and you start shooting it, that's when you start seeing it come together. Bring him in and work on this project has been incredible and um, you know I really feel like we're kind of on the same page. Him and I are both pretty pretty mellow people and uh, you know we have Chris to not be mellow. So Chris is the guy that can like rage on people <laughs> and uh, everything that I wish he could be. There's no egos here which is a, an amazing environment to work in because uh, whenever there's ego or whenever you don't get along with somebody it can make the day really really difficult. We have Tim Cash. He's the director and uh, the visionary behind all of this, the magic that happens here. Yeah, let's move it. Let's just go back and forth and see what we can do. Tim uh, has these great ideas, and I try and help him bring them together. He's got a real strong eye. He pays a lot of attention to detail, the color and, and saturation and things like that, which is uh, my favorite part about the whole filmmaking process is the look. That's crazy. Working with Tim has been interesting and fun and very easy. No, I'm kind of sure. Yeah, I think I can do it pretty fast. Tim Cash is one of the uh, my favorite people to work with. But you guys both do the mic. So I can use hands. Yeah. Okay. I was told. <laughs> All right. From the first one that I shot with Tim, I haven't worked with anyone else. I always call him. He's got a good a good concept, and it's it's cool to see him work. Cool to see it. They come together. He's able to get the shots right every time. He comes with so many ideas. He's very open-minded and listens to my ideas to try to make sure that I'm able to, that we're able to really capture the vision that I have as well. So I really respect him for that. He's just super humble, kind. He's great on set. He works well with people. Yeah, I just love working with Tim and Rage. All, the whole crew that I've met up here in Bend, Oregon. Oh man, working with Tim and the crew is like, it, it's fun, you know? It's fun. So for me to get a chance to work on something that's positive is, uh, you know, it's a dream come true.